all doing? Welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enhance eyes using Affinity Photo with curves, layers, and um, and brushes. Really simple. Let's get on and do it. Um, so let me just give this person a quick shout out because this is not one of my own photographs. Um, Stock Snap is over on Pixabay, so um, I'm using this photo. But yeah, go and have a look at his um, go and have a look at his content. It's got some great, colourful content. And um, it's all free to use as well, so thanks for our portrait image, shall we say. And um, it's done a great job of editing it. Um, and editing, as you know, is be subjective. It's it's what you like. It is really a bit of what you like. But anyway, let's get on and do this. So it's really easy to do in Affinity Photo. So I'm going to go over to my curves layers. If you haven't got the adjustments, if maybe if your adjustments in, are in your um, layers over here, just behind your layers, they might be sat here, for, say for instance, so your adjustment panel might, might just be here. All I've done is dragged it out and extended that. So I can see all my adjustments. Just go to the curves, double click on the curves and I get a curves layer. Now all I want to do is um, somewhere in the middle, I just want to increase the, the lighter parts of the image and I want to just um, just overexpose them, okay? And then I'm gonna close, close that down for now. And then I'm gonna go and grab a brush, um, paintbrush tool and um, my hardness yeah i'm gonna between five and ten percent um flow anything between 15 and 30 percent i suppose would be good um and then your color brushes you got your black and your white in order to change um, between them just keyboard shortcut x and that will work so before we do anything with this curves adjustment layer what we're going to need to do is invert the layer so i'm going to press command and I on that layer to invert it and now all of that has gone away I'm going to select a white brush um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit decrease the size of my brush a little bit and I'm just going to paint in the increased size just paint in the effect that we've essentially just removed by inverting this layer and if you were doing this in Lightroom classic you'd pretty much doing exactly the same you would you can do this with a mouse I'm using a tablet and a, and a pen at the moment to do this but you can do this with a mouse and then once I'm done let me um, just do this bit over here let me just zoom out a little bit and if I turn on and off the adjustment you can see you can see the change in the eyes let me just zoom in turn on and off the adjustment you can see the change in the eyes so it is a big change and what I would then want to do or what I now want to do is just decrease the opacity just to around 75 percent so these eyes are like a bluey green we're going to want to change the color of those so um, I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer um, but this time I'm going to drop down the master and change it to blue because this is the color that I want to affect and I'm going to um, remember this is going to do all of the image but I'm going to somewhere in the middle here just going to drag up this blue to make it, I suppose it gives it a purpley blue, doesn't it? Because we're adjusting the highlights. And then just down the bottom here, make another one. And just play around with what where I want this blue to be. And it's maybe around here. And again, remember it's subjective, so it's all down to you. Again, press Command and I on your keyboard and it will invert the layer. Go to your white brush and then start brushing in the eyes initially you'll have a bit of overkill but we can address that in a minute but you know this might be the look that you want for your for your eyes so this might be the look that you stick with but um, yeah personally I think it's a little bit too much I'm going to do a little bit more to this image as well which I will um, I will I will show you as we go through I just want to um, just zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on so if I select all of the layers and then click the tick button we'll see that this is the difference so we can change the names of these in case we're gonna just by double clicking and then changing the names so here with my eyes I maybe want to again tone it down a little bit so it's not quite as prominent so this is quite nice now what I'm going to do just to change the overall feel of this image a little bit I'm gonna to go to selective color double click on a selective color um, and then I'm going to drop down this blues and select my blacks a little bit so what I want to do I want to put a nice sort of um, matte sort of feel on this image and all I'm going to do is take the blacks down to 
around 7%. Reduce the yellows a little bit so it just makes the blues pop a little bit more. Um, yeah, the magentas, do I want to... So all I'm, remember, all I'm doing is removing by reducing the slider, removing from the blacks in the image, and then just bring up the cyans a little bit. Now, with the neutrals, again, all I'm going to do is me mess a little bit with the black... Um, the black and white slider here. So I just, again, want to just keep that, and then the yellows just reduce again a little bit more and I think if I then go up to the blues what I could then do is just make these blues pop a little bit more by increasing the darker levels of the blue taking away some yellows taking away some magentas and increasing the cyans in the blue I could maybe come back and fine-tune a little bit what about the whites of the eyes with with the selective color adjustment there do i want to tone those down a little bit maybe to sort of towards 50 percent so yeah here's all the adjustments that's um before and that's after if you wanted to go in and change anything about any of the adjustments that you had done just select the layer and um and go to that tool and um and adjust everything that you need to adjust there so like i said i do use affinity photo in conjunction with lightroom um do the base edit in lightroom and then do any advanced editing in affinity photo and i'll do more of those tutorials in the future hope um hope this tutorial has helped you out um take care speak to you all soon